something we don't see all too often around mm -hmm. here. The Knicks are actually doing pretty well. So they dominated last night against the Denver Nuggets, a team with one of the best records in the NBA. Jennifer Williams takes a look at what's fueling their newfound success. This Knicks fan base, they're exhilarated right now. Thursday night at the Garden, the Knicks demolished the Nuggets 122 to 84, the team's fifth straight win. The Knicks are definitely legit. Their win over the Denver Nuggets was uh, incredible to watch, and they definitely put the, the league on notice by beating the world champs by 38 points. Any big rebounds now they the Knicks scored 26 points off of 19 turnovers, and those 84 points New York's defense held Denver to a season low. To see the, the way that the Knicks are getting after it defensively, it, they take on the heart of the city. That is what Knicks fans love. They love to see guys fighting and being physical and playing top quality defense because it leads to wins. Just uh, following the game plan and then being aggressive. You know, if I see it, if I'm, I'm like a ball hawk, like that's how I play. You can't say enough about. You know what OG brings. Uh, you know Jalen and Julius are, are going to be to me. They're two all stars. The Knicks are now 11 and two since trading for OG Ananobi. I expect it. Like I expect to make a difference. Ananobi has had a positive plus minus in all 13 games so far with New York, and was an eye popping plus 38 on Thursday. It's what he brings to the team, but it's also what the guys here are bringing to him. When you get everyone invested in each other, good things come from that. We wanted this for so long. We've been real fans, have been very patient, and we're here. The NBA trade deadline is February 8th, so there's a chance the Knicks could get even better. As for what's next, the team hosts the Heat, the team that lost to the Nuggets in the NBA Finals Saturday at 3 p.m. Tickets are starting at $150, according to Vivid Seats. Outside Madison Square Garden, Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News.